Hello everyone, welcome to Food in a Flash. My name is Coach Mariah and today our topic is pomegranate. So pomegranates, they are a berry. Um, they have multiple fleshy cells on the inside that contain seeds, also known as arils. Um, the arils are covered in sacs that contain a red juice. Um, so those are those little red pods that you see when you break it open. Uh, the sweet, the seeds are very sweet and juicy. They're also a little messy. So if you do plan to eat them, just maybe watch what you're wearing um, or set something out to open it up on. As far as peak season, the peak season for them is um, October through January in the U.S., but they are available year-round in grocery stores. You should eat pomegranates because they are very low in calories. So one serving, which is one half cup of the arils or seeds, um, is 72 calories. So they're low in calories. Um, they're within one serving. There are 16 grams of total carbohydrates. So within that, that breaks down so that 3.5 grams is just fiber and then 12 grams is sugar. So there's actually quite a bit of fiber in them um, to help with digestion. So pomegranates, they're also cholesterol free, sodium free, and there's hardly any fat in them. They're very high in antioxidants and they have cancer fighting properties. Uh, they are great for promoting heart health and they have anti-inflammatory properties as well. Uh, so like I had mentioned, pomegranates are packed with antioxidants, which aid in protecting the body's cells from damage caused by free radicals such as cancer and helps reduce muscle and joint inflammation, soreness and fatigue. Pomegranates also stimulate the growth of probiotic bacteria so the good bacteria of the gut, uh, which improves gut health and, excuse me, which improves gut health and helps fight off infection in the intestines. So pomegranates are a great source of magnesium, which acts as a muscle relaxant and helps to regulate the heartbeat and protects the heart from muscle stress. Magnesium also aids in lowering cholesterol and blood pressure which then also decreases the risk of cardiovascular disease. As far as um, preparing, selecting, and storing, so when you are selecting a pomegranate from a store, you wanna look for one that is firm to the touch and does not have any soft spot or mold on the outside. And as far as cutting a pomegranate, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a big like open Tupperware of cold water and you're gonna take the pomegranate at the top with the small crown, you're gonna cut that crown off and then about two and a half inches down, you'll cut four slices around it and place that submerged in the cold water for five minutes. Don't cheat, let it sit. I cheated, doesn't work as well. Let it sit for the five minutes. Once it's sat in the water for a while, you can go ahead and break those where you have those slices into four sections and then um, when you pull it out all of those little arrows they'll just fall right out you don't have to sit there and pick and scrape um, they'll just fall right off really easily and then you can get a container and um, put some paper towel in them in the container just put those arrows in there let them dry for a couple minutes and go ahead and eat them um, and then as far as storing pomegranates, if you're storing them at room temperature, uh, we want to, excuse me, let's see here. So we can either store at room temperature or in the fridge. Once they're peeled, so once the arrows have been taken out, we do want to cover them and put them um, in the refrigerator. Um, so once they have been peeled and opened, they really should be eaten within seven days so that they don't go bad. Uh, if you don't eat them within that time frame, go ahead and pop them in the freezer. You can always pull them out for later, um, but they're very versatile. You can add them to a lot of different foods 
You can eat them raw. You can make juice from the sacks that um, enclose the arrows. You can add them to salads, smoothies, fruit salads. You could add it to frozen drinks. Uh, you can add them to yogurt for a sweet little treat in that yogurt. Uh, you could add them to desserts and then you could also add it to salsa. So the recipe that you'll see I put in the chat is actually a pomegranate salsa. Um, it's a seasonal salsa recipe for winter. So you should give it a try. It's got a nice little combination of things, um, but it sounds really good and really good for you. I did also put in the chat a picture of what the inside of a pomegranate looks like. So if you haven't seen one before, take a look. Pretty interesting if, um, if you haven't actually opened one up before. So check that out. And then the only other thing I wanted to mention is that starting next week, we're gonna be dabbling in some different food groups, um, just trying to incorporate some more different food groups that we can talk about that can be more applicable to where we live. So that'll be starting next week, but thanks so much for tuning in everyone. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.